Okay, I'm just on a hill, trying not to get in an accident here. Uh, break off. I'm rolling just a little bit, and it won't it won't downshift in a first until I stop. So freaking weird. I don't know if there's a lockout or something or what. Unusual. Good morning, good night. Okay, today we're checking out the gear shift lever. Uh, this is a 2011, so it looks like this. Some of, I think the 2012s look slightly different. The early ones, the 10s and the 11s, maybe even the 9s, I think there's a few uh, 2009s that were made, look like this. And the issue that I have is, okay, clutch in. Look at that spring back. Very slow. In the plane of first to third, that's very slow. And then also, just look at the side-to-side -side motion, how much play there is. But that's almost like, I don't know, a quarter of an inch. It's too much. Now, forward and back, it's far less. It's maybe, it's, it's a, be an eighth of an inch. Now, the, the biggest issue I have is getting it into first, because um, especially when it's cold, it does not like going into first, and it never wants to downshift into first while I'm moving. Once it's warm, everything actually wor works pretty well, but it does not want to go into first ever when I'm rolling. And then getting it, getting from second up to third, because it, it takes so long to neutralize, it'll just hit the gate as it goes into third. I never miss shift, I'm not going into first, but it will hit the gate on the way to third. And then fifth and sixth tend to be fine. So I think we're gonna try and get in here and, and adjust some things if we can. So I've already taken my first action and made my first mistake. Um, it is correct to start pulling this up from here. However, I've already lost the clip. The next clips, there's five of them. One, two, three, and then four, five. That's where they are. Um, I'm gonna see if we can pull this up without losing another one, and also without hurting something. Bear with me. Uh, I definitely lost another one, you heard it. But it's up. And there's a couple more things to pay attention to. Obviously, we need to kind of figure this out, which I'll work on later. Uh, I just want to peek in here at the moment. And underneath here, there's some... So for, for example, this is... By the way, these are the clips I'm talking about. There's one. And... So they they certainly don't stay put very well. They they help, they hold very well once they're in. Um, so that's a shame that that popped out. Because uh, I, I know I've lost at least one of them down into the depths. Guys, I love the Lotus. Like I, I love being able to take this apart and look around here. I... This car is actually a joy to work on. And I did not think it was gonna be this way. I, I was like, oh God, mid-engine mid car. I, I love the beauty, I love the thing, but. All right, so to get this off, you have to take off the, the top of the knob and, and because this is so nice with the leather wrap and everything, it's actually a multi-piece construction. You have to access underneath, let me put this in like something. You have to access underneath this badge. This badge pops up. So let's do it, let's figure it out. Previous owners were uh, a very nice couple and uh, huge uh, Lotus fans. Well, let me put it like this. When I went to buy the car, they had three Lotus in their driveway. Uh, two Avoras, so the one that I bought, a 400, and uh, and an Exige. So, <laughs> yeah, I would say, fair to say that they're, they're fans, right? Okay, long story short, they gave me this one with the car. That's the part number right there. The little Lotus badge just places on top. It's just affixed with adhesive. This happens to be 3M VHB, very high bond adhesive, so that's fine. But let's take this apart. I have my little bicycle multi-tool here, and this happens to be a four millimeter. Crack, loosened it up. Okay, took a little bit of pulling, but la-di-da, that's out. Notice that it, um, it has some orientation, so it only wants to go in one way. So no, 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 boom, and it drops in. So boom, it's out, and this is a grub screw. And this is the reason why you can't just screw the whole thing, you know, when it's on there, I can't just unscrew the whole thing like this, because there is a hidden grub screw, which changes in model year 12 and 13 and 14 and so on. So if you got a 09, 10, or 11, watch out for this. Step one, let's get this little, the little badge, badge off. I'm gonna try not to destroy anything. <laughs> right, we'll see. Small, you know, eyewear screwdriver. All right, it comes up. Kind of supporting with my thumb to minimize the lifting on the leather. Got 
I'm gonna move to a bit of here. Boom. Off. Look at that little, a little bit of dirt. A little bit of dirt on there. A little, it's just dust and whatnot that kind of fell down into it. All right. Okay, we're gonna crack it with the four millimeter. Boom. Lovely. Okay. Ta-da. Very nice to have tried this on a separate piece before showing you because now I know what the heck I'm doing. Now I'm just going to essentially pull, wiggle and pull. Ba -ba. Da -da 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 -da. Off. I don't know why I enjoy this so much, but I do. Okay, and the grub screw... Ah! There is no grub screw. Very interesting. Okay. Okay. This pulls off. So... I don't know. If you have an earlier version, well, what am I trying to tell you? This design, the one in front of me right here, just the whole thing pulls up. And there, this one has no grub screw anywhere. And if you take a look, that is zip tie. Okay, good. So I should be able to pull this over. There we go. Okay, and the reason I wanted to do that first is to just allow myself more access back here. This is the HVAC finish panel or center console panel. There's lots of little things to pull off here. Okay, there's one. That would be the blend door. Then this one. Okay, that is the, I suppose that handles both the front def defroster and turning AC on, on and off. Cool. Yeah, it is. Just pull it off. So that's going to be a funky one to figure out how it goes back on. Um, okay, this, this odd man out goes towards the driver's side, and this one should just pull out. Hopefully they only go in one way. Beautiful, beautiful piece of the car, now out. By the way, a quick thing, these two connectors look identical, so you don't want to get them mixed up, because they would operate the wrong things. Now, they are labeled, this one says recirculation, and this one says switch. Now, they're all switches, so switch is not very helpful to me. Um, but recirculation is very accurate because that would, that's what you would press for the recirculation and then AC switch, I guess it would be that one. So yeah, not too bad. And just to be clear, I have retained a single clip, missed one here, lost one here, lost one here, and lost one here. So that is, uh, one out of five that I succeeded on keeping there. So I now have to find where those clips are. And one of them is right down there, which I'm going to grab. And then the rest, I got one out. Aha! Uh -huh. There's one back here that I found. So that's, that's another. All right, we'll see. I found three. Yeah. So that's three retrieved, one still missing. One on the... Okay, I found the other one. It's going to be hard to reach. Oh, I got it. I got it. Operation. Got it. <laughs> that is four clips retrieved. All right, four clips retrieved. Da 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 da. One on one on the console where it belongs. The f front and back play is very. It's controlled. It's fine. It's not a problem. And that's you know the shift cable, and that play is not here. As you can see, this ball is moving along with it. There's no play there. So any of that play is just in the cable itself or on the other end, the transmission side. So that, I would say, is fine. If I move this, this shifter here, left and right, which is the cross gate pattern, this down here is the cross gate um, cable. Well, notice as I move this, it doesn't move at all. This down here is the blue, what they call the blue ball in there. I think <laughs> and notice it's really not moving so all that play happens so once I move it a lot then it moves so that doesn't do anything it's a lot of black shavings down in here and I don't I don't like that I mean 
There's no reason there should be any shavings there. There's also, there's black shavings down there, which is not, not good. So these blue shavings, it's, so clearly, you know, Gearshift has been struggling. Um, and I think primary, primary reason is because when I would go into first gear, I have to bang this all the way over. Okay, so this is the obstructor plate. That's intentional. And so when you go to first, boom, it hits there. And then you slide across it to go to first. Now, on a typical cold day, it does not like going into first or second. And by the way, why is that there? It's because on the plane of first, and then you lift it up, and then you can go over to, re to reverse, which is there and up. Long story short, what we're going to try and do is adjust the cross gate, which is this one down here. And we're going to try and adjust it so that this screw is longer by going counterclockwise so that when this bumps up against the obstructor plate, it doesn't hit so hard and doesn't grind as it moves across. I need to get to this nut. Hold up. Doing it the wrong way now. So at this point in time, I'm fairly convinced that I need to take off that nut and take off the ball from the socket. And listen to my narration here. It doesn't fall off into the abyss and make me regret my life. I'm fairly aware that I don't want that nut to fall. Well, I keep going on my path, and I'm doing the best I can. But sure enough... So I can get my little fingers here. And... Oh, Jesus! Damn it. Well, the real irony here is, I didn't even need to take off that nut. Don't do this. And especially don't drop the nut. Got it. All right, now to re extract it. Come on now. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Quick little update. I decided that what I was doing was not the smartest way. And the way I should be doing this is pulling off the socket from the ball. And so that is now what I have done. Lesson learned. Now that this is totally loose, so notice that this is totally loose from the actual cable, it does reinforce what I was saying. Because notice, this this really isn't moving at all. So a lot of this slop is down here in that ball. Uh, they call it a mass damper, I think. You know, in there, and then also maybe in the bottom of this. So there's definitely some nonsense going on here that, where, that has been worn away from the shavings, which is kind of annoying. Um, so this is not as good as it should be. Uh, but let's try and make it better. It's definitely workable. I mean, I, I drive the car. Let's see if we can improve this. So this, ironically, this is, so that's third. This is third. You know, it's all third right now because there's no cross gate. So um, I'm gonna put this back. I have this funky tool there, okay, on. Good, that's a good tool for that. This is, I don't know, I'll put it in the comments. I don't even know what the hell this is. Let's put it where we can access the nut, which is right here, the lock nut. And that's a 10. Don't drop the wrench. Okay, we're going to take this one off then, because it's just in the way. Boom, off. Life is now easier. Wait, we should just do this more frequently when make things easy for ourselves. Okay, holding the ball. Boom. Okay. Life is much easier when you do it the right way. I made this song up right now. Okay. I'm loosening it. There, it's loose. Okay, guys? Everyone can see that it's loose. Now. Okay. Boom. Don't get these mixed up now. I don't think we will. They're, they're roughly different ways. Okay. So we have the shift cable loose that goes up here we have the cross gate cable loose that goes down here my intent is to extend this turns you know i'm going to do like one rotation or two rotations more depending on how many threads we have so i am now going to just hold the lock nut steady again i'm going to go longer by one full rotation we feeling we're feeling good today. Let's go full two full rotations. It's two full rotations difference. And it, I don't want to, the issue is that if I go too much, it'll solve the problem on the, 
it'll maybe solve the problem on the first gear, but it'll cause more issue on the sixth gear. Um, so let's give this a try. Bear with me as I kind of use six hands that I don't have to, to, to put this correct. And make sure to lock the nut up against the socket. couple of quick tips I learned. If you want to pop this off, this is the best way to do it right there, not over here like I was trying before. This just pops off much easier. You don't need a secondary tool. This one pops off the same way if you go at the front. So to the front for the front and the back for the back. That'll be kind of easy for you to remember. So I've got it adjusted a couple of threads longer. Um, let's see what that feels like. First, over, up. Feels good. Second, feels good. Right to third. Third is straight forward. Fourth is straight back. Five is up and over. Six is back. All of that feels good. Rights to middle. Reverse. Over. With the lockout and up. Feels very good. I have to drive it a little bit and see what happens. I'm going to run like this. I've reinstalled the shift knob temporarily. Trial it out. I'm going to drive the car a little bit, make sure I like it, make sure I'm satisfied with the actual shift pattern, how it does. It still takes a while to return, so, you know, we haven't done anything to support that, but um, it should at least get into first. That was, I mean, it seems like it's acting like it's much better. So we're going to drive like this and see what it is, which means I'm going to for, forego my climate controls for a little bit. All right. We're on the highway, but some for some reason we're stopped here, so I have no idea what's going on. But it's helpful to me because I can go into first, into second, and while I'm, you know, while I'm rolling, it will go back. Especially if I give it a little blip of throttle. Uh, I don't know if that's just the synchros or something, but um, interesting. It's this is far better than it was yesterday. By the way, do notice that once it's warm it returns to the center point very you know appropriately uh, not, not as fast as it could like it's fast it's still faster from six to three but uh you know being warm makes a big difference i'm so pumped that worked out really great uh, we fixed the bottom end of the gears reverse first and second and no bad impacts to the middle and top half. So I feel very uh, happy about that. Once it warms up, the, the gears just flow smoothly and I think the cables themselves actually warm up. Um, so I've got a few other things that I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try some Redline uh, transmission fluid. I assume since 2011, this has never had a transmission fluid flush. So I'm gonna do that. And of course, if a push comes to shove, Everyone recommends night and day once you change the, uh, the shift cables themselves, both of them. It's pricey. I don't want to do it if I don't have to, and it's a pain. Of course it's a pain, but it's doable. We'll see. I'm going to try a few more things before I go there. So until next time, subscribe, stick around, figure out how we get this uh, beautiful ardent red lotus working as good as possible. Cheers.
better than it's ever been since I've owned it, which is not that long. So far, everything we've done has been good with no negatives. And it's cost us nothing but time. But, not all the woods yet. It's still sticky. I think it's the cables that are really gonna make a difference because like I can tell, like even just like, when it's in first gear and I'm pulling back out of first gear into second, there's times where it just feels like it hangs up. And it's no longer sort of the slotting in issue that we had before. Now it's a pulling out issue. And I think that's either, I think that's the cables. So we'll see how it goes. So message to myself here. Really happy with the work that was done. Still more work to do to get this transmission to where it should be. Um, far, far better than it was. And just, a, you know, a free adjustment. So I, I love any time we can do that. All right. Thanks.